the purpose of this YouTube is to perform a stockwise, stepwise uh, regression, selecting the variables using the software. So here is some data of from eBay, which is the selling of some Mario Kart thing. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Never mind. Anyway, we have the duration, the uh, number of bids. Now I've constructed a dummy for the, whether or not the condition was new or used. Um, the total price, which is what we are trying to estimate, so that will be our dependent variable. The seller's rating, um, whether or not there was um, a stock photo with it, yes or no, I've constructed that dummy, and uh, how many wheels go with it. So we now import that data into our commander, which I've done already. Now I want to look at the uh, dependent variable and check whether or not it is uh, normally distributed, what shape it is. So let's make a histogram and we can see immediately that it is very highly skewed to the right and we have some outliers here where the price is over a hundred. Now if you go back into the data you can see that these very high price ones uh, include other things in the package so they're kind of not really in the correct data set anyway so there will be nothing wrong in deleting them. So let's subset the data. So let's remove those with a total price, which is more than 100. So subset active data set. We want to include all of them, but what we want is total price smaller than 100. So it'll look down the column of total price and only those with a total price of less than 100 is going to be removed. And we'll call this Mario 3. OK. So now we have Mario 3 is our active data set. Let's go back to Mario 3. Let's have a look at what that histogram looks like. Yeah, now it's pretty much a normal distribution. That's fine. We can use that for regression. Okay, now we go back to uh, our commander and let's do um, a regression on Mario 3. So we do a linear regression and we want to have as our response variable the total price. Now for our explanatory variables, the condition dummy, the duration, the seller's rating, the stock dummy are going to be our independent variables together with the number of wheels. So go OK and here's the result and we can see that it's not bad. The R squared is uh, 7.377. The p-value for the F statistic is very small. But here we have um, Mm, condition dummy looks as though it's going to be very strong, but duration seems not. The p-value is 0.76. It's very high. Seller rating, yeah, the higher the seller rating and the higher the price. Stock dummy, that's the photo, no. Wheels, no. So we could clean this up and we could do this ourselves just by uh, practicing again. But the trouble is when you when you move one, the others also change. So what we could do is we could go to do stepwise model selection. And uh, what we want to do is backward and forward. What this is going to do is it's going to run all of the combinations from no variables in there, add one at a time, add one at a time. And then it's also going to do it taking them away. This is what's called backwards and forwards. So it's good to do it both ways so you can see which way around it is. And it's going to do BIC is a way of measuring the effectiveness of a model. So let's do that. We don't need to change anything. We already have uh, the model we set is loaded there. It's going to work on that model. So go OK. And here we can see some output come up right away. Notice that that's what we had before with an R squared of 0.7377. Now uh, it's taken out 
it now thinks that total price, the condition dummy, the seller rating, stock dummy, and wheels seems to be significant. Okay, now the best one, the best one is condition dummy, the seller rating, and the wheels. So, in other words, those three dummies make the best model. Those three dummies make the best model. Let's go back and uh, try that one. So, condition dummy, seller rating, and wheels. Let's just do our own regression with those three. So we want to have uh, the total price. So condition dummy we want in it. Accelerating and the number of wheels. So run that. Look, that's a very nice model. The uh, adjusted R squared has gone up to 0.74. Everything looks beautiful, highly significant. So this is one way of doing it. There's nothing to substitute for doing it yourself, but you can use stepwise, in, in other words, to get a start on it, particularly if you have a lot of different uh, models to, to do. Thank you.